Wait a minute. Are you going to say that that 3,000 years of early Holocene, warmer than now, was an optimum? No, we better get that word optimum out of there and make it the hypsothermal. I'm going to stick with the climatic optimum. I like it. So immediate aftermath of the, the younger drives, you said like the, the full glacial, which was on its way out. Right. It was, they were receding, right. Suddenly came back Boom. at the beginning of the younger drives. Right. So we have to endure this another 1,300 years of bitter cold before the whole thing is finally over. Right. The glaciers can melt back, sea level can rise, stabilize coastlines worldwide, right? And only then, Carrie, are you going to be able to establish coastal communities, not only dependent upon the sea, but now having an incentive to actually go out into this monster. Yeah. Yeah. And only when you've got stable coastline are you going to now be able to create stable communities that are exploiting the resources, the marine resources. And because of their exploitation of marine resources, of course, they're going to start venturing back out into the sea itself right. via whatever kind of boat or whatever they happen to be using. And what seems that they were initially using was boats of made out of papyrus reeds in both Eastern and Western hemispheres. We see it in, in the Tigris Euphrates and we see it in South America. Three or 4,000 years has to pass during which, what's the human population doing? It's being fruitful and multiplying. That's what it's one of my favorite things. Yeah, I, I know. So that's why I use every opportunity to bring the subject up.